Hi, welcome to Off The Tee. I'm your host, Jared Levy. Today, we're at the Dubuque Golf and Country Club in Dubuque, Iowa. We'll be meeting with the Director of Golf Instruction, David Huffman, who will be giving us general tips for our overall game. We're gonna shake off the rust from those winter months and get a spring tune-up. Let's check it out. We're here today with David Huffman, Director of Instruction here at the Dubuque Golf and Country Club. Uh, David, what are we going to be working on today? So today, Jared, it's our spring training. So we want to get your game ready for the season. We're going to start off with putting. And as we get on the green, we're going to focus basically on kind of starting your year, what means the most to successful putting. So we'll get out there, we'll work on rolling the golf ball better and what that entails. And then we'll also do a little bit of speed work because we're trying to get used to our greens and get ready and develop a sense for the speed for the whole year. All right, let's go out and do it. Let's go. All right, we're here down at the putting green. Um, tell us what we're gonna be working on today. So first thing let's get started with, you know, the basic half of the game, let's get started with our putting stroke. So the first thing we're gonna do here is just basically check how does your stroke roll the ball? So it's okay in our stroke, whatever grip you have, whatever posture you have, wherever your eye position is in general is okay as long as we roll the ball correctly. So, and what do we mean by roll the ball correctly? We're gonna set you up to four balls here, Jared. Okay. And we've got some Callaways with the lines. All the companies pretty much nowadays have lines on most of their balls. So as a check or grabbing a range ball at your course, yep. you can just set that up. We're gonna set up the stripe. We're gonna line you up to the stripe and without going at a hole, a specific target, you're just gonna roll several balls generally toward me. And we wanna see how your stroke rolls this ball. Okay. Our goal is to have it roll perfectly end over end and we see this red stripe stay perfectly in line the whole way during the roll. Okay. You ready? Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right. Okay, let's see if I can get these end over end. Don't be too concerned of how accurately here, just try to roll it. Pretty good. That one's terrific. Okay. And pretty good. Okay. Those were good strokes. So what we're looking for, so where this means so much is every eighth of an inch that this stripe wobbles, you're affecting the speed of your putt by a foot from every 12 feet. Wow. So from consistency of your ability to lag putts up close and two putt, it has a huge impact. So every eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, we're losing two feet from 12 feet. So our consistency to roll balls the distance we're trying comes into how well we roll it. The other aspect of it obviously is in other sports, if this ball's wobbling with some hook, yep. well then a short putt is gonna break even more than you think if it's curving to the right. If we were putting cut spin on it, it's gonna have an effect on how much the putts break. So from making short putts and then your distance control on long putts, that's why we're after this. That's good to know, I've never heard that before. So that's a lot to think about for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now we need some simple ways yeah. that we help you develop the stroke and what, what affects it. Okay, so we're on to the next drill. Um, I see some tees here. What's this one called? 
So this is Tiger Woods favorite putting drill he's done since he was a kid. Still his favorite to this day, so hence very, very popular on the PGA Tour and on the women's LPGA. Okay. So basically what we're doing here is we're putting two tees just barely outside the width of your putter, yep. okay? And what this is about is we're gonna work first on your ability to make a center strike. Okay. So one variable that controls whether we can get this ball rolling end over end the way we want is hitting it in the center. So we're gonna create a drill that's gonna allow you to repeat a stroke that would make center contact. Okay. So first I'm gonna reach down here and mark a spot with a Sharpie. And that just gets the spot correct relative to the line on your putter so that each time I know where to place the ball. And we're not worried now about placing the lines at this point, we're just working on you making a stroke through the tees, making center contact. Okay. And then same thing, I'll put these here, I'll back up, and you're still just rolling the ball to me. All right. Okay. Well, I didn't hit the tees, but I think it was a very weak shot. <laughs> but now let's try and do some more confidence here. There we go. That felt good. That looked like you trusted yourself. Yeah. The first one was just trying to get through the tees. It's tighter than it looks. Good. Very good. Last one. Good. Nice. So basically, Jared, you keep repeating through that. If you have no issues going through there, we know that in general, your stroke can return where it needs to. And we're now making contact in the center of the putter. Perfect. Now we need to move to the second variable, which then all of a sudden becomes a little more difficult. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yep. What we're going to do now, go ahead and sit your putter in there for us again. There we are. And now what we're going to do basically is I'm going to create a gateway. Okay. So I'm going to move these two tees a little bit forward. I'm going to move a couple tees equally behind. Our ball still gets placed in the center on that spot. So now we know you have the ball lined up and now this is going to work on the path of your stroke. So if you hit any of these tees, you'll know where your stroke is, you know, making its errors. Okay. So if you catch this inside one on the way back, and we know your takeaway is two inside. If you smack an outside one, you know, we're taking it away two outside. Okay. So basically this gives you a little bit of leeway to make a stroke, whether it's straight back and through or whether it has a smidge of arc to it. So now path, this is a second variable that makes this ball roll perfectly. Okay. Okay, ready to go? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, same idea. Just feel like you freely roll it down here. We're not too concerned about distance. Okay. Terrific. That first one's always so tentative. <laughs> and this is providing you with feel, feedback. You, you know, whatever your brain is sensing that's allowing your stroke to work through the gate, there's your feels that you'll use. Terrific. Okay. Awesome. Nice. So you're getting freer and freer and you're feeling that you know, there's no issue going through. It felt better the more that I did. Yeah. yeah. Each so one. that's that's our goal. Okay. So we would hit more than just four. Yeah. But if you sat here and you hit 15 or 20, maybe 30, and you felt that, then we could turn the stripe back up and we could line up to it. And now we could work on trying to roll that stripe, working our way through the gate now. And potentially with enough of those repetitions, your stroke will, you know, you'll create that neuro pattern and the stroke will repeat and bingo, now we end up rolling putts the way we want. I like it. We should see more putts go in the hole. That's, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, stick around. We'll be right back after these messages. OK, 
Okay, so the putting went great. Uh, now we're going to go out to the uh, chipping range and do some work around the green. Yep, let's go focus on your short game. We're going to start basically with pitching and let's make sure you know what's a good setup. What do these professionals do on television we watch who are so good? Help you get into those setup positions, ball position. How does your body move? What means the most? And then a couple little drills maybe to help you feel, feel those things and give you checkpoints for some good success. Okay, I think that's gonna be probably my favorite one since I need the most work there. Let's get out and do it. Let's go. Okay, so we're here working on some short game stuff around the green. Um, what are we gonna uh, specifically work on today? So a huge part of the game is our short game because most golfers aren't gonna be able to hit a lot of greens in regulation. Tour players, for instance, only average a little over 12 greens around. Okay. So short game's a vital part along with our putting. So we're just gonna do some basic pitching right now okay. and kind of check out your movement and your setup and then and make some adjustments as we go. So let's let's set up basic. We're not too worried about a specific target. Let's let you do what you do right now and let's kind of see where you are and then we'll then we'll change and make some refinements and and help your understanding. Okay. So just set up and hit what set feels up and normal hit your, to me. Yes, yeah, set up and hit your pitch shot. Okay. Okay. All over the place. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so um, first thing let's do, let's kind of adapt your setup. So come back into the ball as if you were hitting the same shot you just hit. And then we'll okay. make some adjustments. So when they've studied professional golfers throughout years, what they find on a basic short game shot, so not some specialty shot, is we're going to initially get our feet very close together. So we're going to get your heels about as wide as a club head or okay. thereabouts. And then we'll flare out this left toe so your toes are a little wider. You were good back here. Okay. There we go. Now that, in essence, really just helps you open up your body and allow some rotation. Okay. So there's a little bit of our setup. Second part that's crucial is we want this ball position. Go ahead and set up there to the ball. Is we want this ball position, the back of this ball, to kind of run down your spine. All we right. really don't want to move it back in the stance. Okay. Maybe for some specialty shots, but in basic shots, we want it pretty much down your spine. That allows us to utilize our tool, this wedge, a little better, and we can get into that a little bit more as we go. So our basic setup, there we go. We've got our feet a little more narrow. Jump into your setup. The ball's down our spine. And now all I want you to feel here, so the arms, if you think of them as sides of a triangle, yep. we connect these dots to the top. There's the bottom. And what I want you to feel like you do on a motion is go back and through, keeping this triangle intact and feeling like your chest turns all the way to the target. Okay. Okay. So let's hit one more and then we'll make some more adjustments from there. Good. Okay. So stay where you are. That's a great finish. So you finished up on your left side. The yep. triangle's still intact. Another point we would then check is we would like to see if when you finished here, if this golf club were a sword and we had a scabbard, that this club's over here and you could slide it away into your scabbard. Okay. So in essence, we're stabilizing your wrists a little bit through impact. If you were Less to flip it, there we go, that would smack us. Okay. So let's go again, that was awesome. So let's check, the feet are narrow, toes flared, balls down your spine, yep. good. Feel that triangle work. Good. Okay. Now, one thing there, I don't know if you noticed, did you notice the club hit just a tiny bit behind it? Yep, I felt it. So that's, that's fine, actually. So if you watch a telecast on TV and you hear the commentators refer to Tiger or Jordan Spieth and he's going around a green to hit a shot and you'll hear a commentator go, you know, he's going to use the bounce here. So once we get these setups correct and with the ball position more in the center, you're engaging the sole of the golf club in a way that allows you not to have to be perfect. So in essence, we could hit a little bit off and still hit a terrific golf shot. Okay. So that's, that's okay that that just happened. Okay. We're going to make one more little adjustment. And this is kind of a drill version to help us get our weight set 
and your body set even a little more refined. So sit up there one more time like you just did. And all I want you to do from here, Jared, is take your back foot and lift it up on your toe. And what you'll notice, let's go back down again. When you lift that up, if I hung this here, that moves your spine just a, a little in front. So pick it up again. Okay, now stay there in front and put your foot back in. Now from there, feel like you just rotate around your left leg or pivot around your side. We're still keeping the triangle the same. There we go. So, Just like that. So okay. now you've preset a little more angle of attack to catch the ball cleanly. That's it. Right. Terrific. That's okay. awesome. So basically what you've done now by setting the triangle, the ball position, that last bit about putting your weight just a tiny bit more forward, which moves your spine a little in front, we're trying to guarantee contact's going to get better and better because of the angle the club travels. Okay. So that actually what we did when we pulled your foot up was a drill Bernhard Langer did at the Masters recent years ago when, uh, when he actually finished second place going into the final round and all week as great a golfer as Bernard Langer was every day in his warm-up he would do that drill to kind of remind his brain or refresh his mind yeah. where he wanted his weight to feel like weight it on was. the front yep and you mentioned the bounce so when I'm setting up and obviously the bounce is you know referring to this down here and say I have the weight and everything forward, should I be opening at all to use the bounce more in different situations? Should I just keep it squared here or? Well, most of the time, go ahead the... and set up again. It's a great question. Most of the time to help engage the bounce, I mean, we're doing it somewhat by putting the ball in the center. Okay. And so that's helping in some degrees. If we took the face and opened it up a little bit, yep. we're raising that front edge off the ground. Yeah. And we're engaging the bounce by opening the club up a little. We don't necessarily want to lean the shaft behind it to engage it. Okay. We want to more feel like we're returning the club straight up and down. We definitely don't want to come in with much shaft forward. Yeah. So that won't engage the bounce at all. That'll actually engage the front edge, which ends up digging. Okay. Is there a time that we want that ever? If, if we got into it's... potentially a really bare lie hard pan, Okay. You know, no grass whatsoever, mud, right? Like that. Maybe we got into four or five inches of thick rough. Okay. Maybe we move the ball back so that that angle of attack by having the ball deeper, the that ball club's first. traveling down a little steeper to kind of negate a little bit of that thick grass. All right. So we want to challenge you with a drill. So we're going to feel everything. And what we're going to do, hold that down the shaft. That's it. Yep. And you'll stick the stick out this side. Okay, take a practice stroke. So if your body turns the same way we're talking about, we'll do it without a ball first, the stick won't smack you. Okay. If you flip your hands or your chest stalls, meaning it doesn't continue yeah. to turn through the shot, that stick will smack you. So that's okay. a great little feel to see how well are we doing as far as do I have my body, am I making this triangle move? There we go, that's awesome. So the mantra, one thing that's pretty commonly said nowadays with you know, my world of instruction is, is a simple mantra of how far you swing back yep. will control how far the shot goes. This turning of the triangle or rotation of your body through will control the quality of you hitting the ball, the strike. Okay. So how far you go back controls the distance, the turning controls hitting it okay or striking it. So if there's a common mistake on a short shot, it's taking it back and the person decelerates and doesn't keep turning yeah. to try and make it go short. Stop they stop it. and then they hit, hit behind it or they thin it across a green. All right. Well, that sounds great. Uh, let's take it over to the, uh, to the full swings then. Let's get some swing. Hey, everyone. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Off the Tee right after these messages. All right, so the the work around the green was great. I really like the setup work that you uh, worked with me on. Um, where are we heading? What are we going to work on now at the driving range? Let's get your full swing tuned up. So we're going to go over and check some basic fundamentals. 
what you have to do to control the club face, which is the game, controlling the club face. We're going to work on your posture, we're going to look on, work on ball position, and then maybe we'll add in another little skill set or two to help you depending on how time goes. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so we're here on the range, and uh, what are we going to work on today with the swings? So, again, all this that we're doing today, Jared, for you is just like, what are we going to do kind of spring training baseball for golf? Okay. And so, first thing we want to kind of get going, you haven't hit balls in a while, the weather's finally broken, is the game is basically learning face control, so that club head. So we're gonna do a little drill here to help you feel that. So we're gonna just take a club head and we're gonna fit it in your hands. And um, so basically this bottom edge, if you wanna do this, you, this bottom edge goes in the bottom joint of your fingers, the hosel sticks out. Yep. And then put your right hand on as if you were holding a golf club. Basically, perfect. Yep. So now basically that club face is pointing down the target line, right? Yes. So let's take a little half back swing. Yeah, a little bit more. Now come back down to square and basically feel what your arms or hands are doing to control this face. Okay. So do that again, show me square. Perfect, okay, on the next one, go up and close the face and show me left. So now you've rolled your arms or rotated them yeah. a little extra, the face is closed. Whoa. Okay, now conversely, go up and show me to the right open. The arms don't rotate enough, we've hit a shot right. Yeah. Okay, so if we take that basic info, Go ahead and swing up. Obviously, don't swing down fast and kill me. Show me square. Bingo. Show me open. Show me closed. There we go. So basically now, you haven't moved your body any differently, yeah. but your arms and hands are still reacting on that grip as if they're holding that face, and yep. that'll make the club head down here on the end of a shaft react. So okay. let's just hit a couple basic shots. Let's set up. We'll take about a three quarter back swing. So if this is a 170 yard club for you, we're gonna hit okay. it about 110. Okay. And just uh, let's first swing, let's overdo it and close the face. Close the face. So okay. we'll overdo it, feel what your arms and hands have to do to control and hit a little bit of a left shot. Terrific. And right here initially, you're not trying to hit it. You're not worried about the shots being perfect. You're just yeah. working on your control over Angle. the club face. Okay, let's go ahead and go right. Perfect. Okay, now we're looking for that magic Goldilocks in between. Now we want it square. Okay, so down the middle. Pretty good. Felt a little left, but hey. It's a great swing. Let's get one more. So that was close. Down the Very pipe. Very straight, dead down the center. Perfect. Okay. So, you know, a golfer trying to get back out and you trying to get ready here for summer golf, yeah. you know, getting this going initially is you just training your arms and hands. If we've watched a golfer on television where you see a, a golfer let go with one arm, or they lean and tilt, they smash a club on the ground, and then you watch the rest of the ball, you know, flying in the air and it lands 10 feet away and you're wondering what's going on. That golfer sensed that he was way out of sequence and that ball could have gone anywhere. What saved him was this skill set right here. Last minute. Last minute save and he yeah. hit it in there tight. So we're just gonna make sure we work on that. All right, that was terrific. So we want to definitely hone that skill set early on. And that'll help you play in golf too. You know, if you hit a few shots left, a few shots right, aside from worrying totally about what your swing's doing, you can just tap into face control. Right. All right, so the next fundamental we want to get into, I'll pull out my long stick here, is posture. So when we get professional golfers who pretty much 100% of them have a golf coach, those coaches for those players are really not changing most of their mechanics, they're managing them. 
Okay. So these players have incredible golf games and swings. So they're checking things like what we're going to do right now. And a big contributor success is posture. So let's go ahead and let you get in and get set up. And then this is a simple checkpoint for anyone. So from your setup here, and I come back in with this long stick. Yep. If I hold this from the balls of your feet, we'd love to see this vertical line basically hit the front of your kneecaps and the back of your armpit right where it's touching. Okay. So you've been cheating because your posture is awesome. So these checkpoints, so if we go back in history, and I don't care if we go back to 1900, and we go current to now, all of these successful players fall into this posture, whether they're five foot two or whether they're six foot six, they all fall here. Okay. So this is a big deal. So that, that posture, and it's an easy checkpoint for you without a coach, what you could do, see if you can take the club and dangle it from your shoulder back here. So lift it up. So yeah, stay bent over. Yeah, and just hold it with one hand and see if it kind of falls into those places. Okay. And you can kind of check. Now obviously a mirror is your friend, Yeah. you know, at home. But so from that setup, let's do one more time. I'll come in and check it. You go normal, because we already know your posture was naturally, it was in a really good spot. Here's our checkpoint again. Balls of your feet, front of your kneecaps, back of your armpits, we're set up. Okay, I'll get out of the way. Go ahead and swing. Okay. Woo! That was beauty. Well, we know it wasn't posture. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that again. Okay, so we get you set. I'll sneak in and check it again. Here we go, we get the stick, it's vertical, you're looking good, balls of your feet, kneecaps, back of your armpit, let it rip. Good golf shot. There it is. There it is. That was awesome, that last strike was what we're looking for, and that would definitely help with kind of compression on the ball. How you're moving too stabilizes the face, so it ends up not only being a little more powerful, but it ends up being straighter because there's just a little less face rotation, you know, by how you're moving. Yeah. So do you have any thoughts or questions? Uh, no questions. Everything felt great. Those last few felt really good. I like this drill. Yeah. And uh, you've given me a lot to work on, you know, before my rounds. Perfect. So. I enjoyed it. Yeah. You did great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the swing tips were awesome today, and I think uh, I'm ready to go out there and play some golf. Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for you know giving us tips at all three phases of the game, and I look forward to uh, lowering that handicap. I enjoyed it. It was great having you guys here. Uh, hopefully that gets you started off to a great season of golf. So keep at it. Come back and see me when you get a chance. Will do. Hey, I like that. Hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in, and special thanks to David Huffman and everyone here at the Dubuque Golf and Country Club. We'll catch you next time, off the tee. Give it a minute.